I know everybody's scared of using anchovies, but you really don't taste them. Hi everyone. My car has been in the shop, so I didn't get to do this yesterday because I was dealing with car issues. Hooray, so fun. Today I'm planning to make the Allison Roman shallot pasta. I cut up my shallots and you really wanna shave them kind of thin if you can. Then I prepped some sweet onions because the other thing I'm planning to make today is a French onion soup grilled cheese on uh, egg bread, French toast. I'm gonna make a savory French toast that's also like French onion soup inspired. I think that's gonna happen. Um, but first I'm gonna go through the shallot pasta. So I think I have seven shallots in here. So I've got my whole can, six ounce can of tomato paste. I have my whole little can of anchovies. Maybe three to four cloves of garlic. So you're gonna put a glug or two of a nice olive oil into your pan. Once we've got the oil heated up, we're going to add our shallots to it. And you want to kind of get them separated. The frying of the shallots took about 15 minutes in total. Now that my shallots have a little bit of brown on them, I'm going to add the garlic. Not a ton, just like maybe two cloves. We'll get that going for about a minute or two. Now I'm gonna add a whole tin of anchovies. I've drained the olive oil off of these. Once the anchovies have almost completely melted into the shallot mixture, then we will add our tomato paste and just let it cook for a couple of minutes. You really have to feel this one out. I feel like it's done when it's taken on sort of a brownish cast. But man, this is really good on some pasta. But my favorite thing to do with it is to put it on an egg burrito in the morning. I am saving this shallot pasta sauce for later. So I'm just gonna stick it in a jar. Stick it in the fridge. All right, we are going to try to make a French onion grilled cheese egg bread sandwich. Three tablespoons of butter. Once it gets mostly melted, I'm gonna put my onions in them, in it, and start getting them caramelized. I want this to go low and slow. This is gonna take like a half an hour probably. So I have my burner set to five. This is on my biggest burner, so five is sort of a high medium heat. I might turn it down a little bit once I get this butter melted. I did three small sweet onions. I'm gonna add my onion in. We're gonna let them sweat for a little while. While we're letting our onions sweat back there, we're gonna grate up. This is just some Monterey Jack cheese that I happen to have in my house. Let's get the eggs ready. Karen Russell, thank you for the eggs. This is a savory dish, so I am going to add some salt and some pepper to these eggs. And just a baby dollop of heavy whipping cream. My onions are nearly done caramelizing, so I'm gonna add all of the rest of my garlic in here. And we'll cook that for about a minute and a half to two minutes. I have two slices of this King's Hawaiian sliced bread. What a find, I'm so glad they started making this. So we're gonna get those started soaking up some of this egg mixture. We're gonna take our onions out of the pan and we'll get the pan ready for the egg toast to go in. In we're going to our pan with our butter. This is the same pan that we did the onions in. I kinda wanted all of that oniony flavor to be there for when the egg toast slices go in. I've turned the heat up considerably. Oop. 
We're gonna wait for the toast to fry on the first side. Then once we flip it over, we're gonna put our cheese and our onions straight onto it. I don't know if this is going to work. Yes. In go the onions. And then the cheese. Ooh, this is gonna be an ooey gooey delight. And I flip this onto there. I'm gonna stick this in the oven for a few minutes. Okay, everybody. I have made French onion soup or caramelized onion and egg toast grilled cheese. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's more. It's kind of hot. That is delicious. <laughs> it's kind of hard for that to not be delicious with all this cheese. Look at that. Oh, and those caramelized onions. I don't know if I can ever top that. I don't know if I can ever make anything that is better than that. So after you caramelize the onions and you've got your egg bread ready and your cheese, put your oven at 350. Do your egg bread on the one side, flip it over, put your onions and your cheese on, make it a sandwich and then stick it in the oven at 350 for like five minutes. You just wanna get the cheese melted. I think if I hadn't put quite so much cheese on it, I wouldn't have had to do the step in the oven but if I hadn't put as much cheese on it, it wouldn't be this beautiful. Mm. I'm gonna go now so I can finish this. You guys have a great day.